There's an eight-second clip of former baseball superstar Pete Rose making the rounds. He's out somewhere, maybe a casino in Vegas, where the 82-year-old now lives. And he looks out from under his ball cap to declare, well, back in the 70s and 80 seconds, I wish it had an interpreter. It'd be scot-free. He's referring to the gambling scandal that exploded last month around Japanese two-way Phenom Shoei Otani, suggesting the slugger or ace was placing illegal bets with a bookie in California. And that, because he had an interpreter his longtime friend and wingman, Ipi Mizaharahi, was able to wriggle off the hook. Baseball has set down several bright lines around gambling. To keep the sport away from nefarious characters and organized crime, no bookies or other illegal gambling. This seems largely moot now that people in 38 states can make bets on their phones, and MLB has a contract with Fanjul. But Mizahara managed to place bets in California, where gambling is still banned. After the catastrophe of the 1919 Black Sox scandal, clear boundaries were set around betting on baseball. A bet on any game minor league, college softball, maybe even little league, could get you a one-year suspension. Your own games? You were banned for life. Rose, a lifetime gambler and longtime scofflaw of the associating with the legal bookies part of the rulebook, was found to have bet on his own Cincinnati Reds late in his career. For the illegal gambling part, he was sent to jail five months for two counts of filing false income tax returns. For betting on his team, MLB banned him for life. While he didn't have much left in the tank in terms of professional play at that point, he was a player coach in his 40s. He also was banned from consideration for election to the Baseball Hall of Fame. It's hard enough to get into the hall it requires 75% of voting sports writers. From Baseball Writers Association of America to give you the thumbs up but he was banned from even appearing on the ballot. Rose has spent the last 30-some years trying to get that decision reversed.